Both Linda and Leslie share insights on the development of their characters and keeping it fresh. Take a look. I used to say that I was very different from, from, from Felicia, but I'm not. Um, I sort of, I don't know where one begins and the other one uh, takes over. I, I really don't anymore. We're so, so similar. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think after 16 years, it kind of has to be like that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you would just, I can't imagine. I've, I've watched actors, in fact, I've watched them for a short amount of time, and then they get rid of the limp. Somehow a miracle happens, and they no longer limp. Mm -hmm. uh, or they, you know, have an accent, and suddenly, <laughs> after years, it sort of goes away, because it's just hard to keep that up. Mm -hmm. So I think you're better off to find those elements in yourself that you can play every day. Mm -hmm. Keeping it fresh is, is the fun part. Mm -hmm. That's sort of like the bottom rule for me. Uh, I don't know that I have ever walked in here and phoned it in. Mm -hmm. I'm not always great. I'm not even good sometimes. But you're there. But I'm always there. Maybe that's just the kind of acting I do, because I'm so basically afraid, like I said. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I love to get lost in the work. I love it, even if it's nothing. Mm -hmm. I like to believe that I, that's happening to me mm -hmm. at the time. There's some times that I actually believe I was destined to be an actor mm -hmm. because I like to be lost in it. Mm -hmm. um, somehow it's safe in there. It's not really me. It's like a big playground. It's a big playground. And I can run the gamut of emotions. I, I, and as, as sort of silly as this sounds, I love the emotional roller coaster of being an actor. I love getting caught off guard and having it really affect me. Mm -hmm. And I love going into a scene and, and having all of a sudden it take me somewhere I never expected it to. That's great, because some people, that yeah. makes them afraid. Makes them afraid. Now that, somehow, I'm comforted by mm -hmm. that. And, and, I'm, and I'm not afraid of it. I suppose that's why I say that I'm fearless now. Because all of that is such, that's yeah. such a thrill. I look for that every day yeah. and it Come doesn't happen me, bring every it day. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I was moved by Linda when she spoke about her responsibility to the viewers. Um, I'm first of all hired as an actress to play a part. Mm -hmm. um, it's not my job to write the part. Mm -hmm. It's not my job to go in and beat my chest and say, I don't like what you've written. My job is to come in here every how many days a week I do, mm -hmm. and, do and, and act as best I can, give it as much life as I can for whatever they've given me. Where I become protective of Felicia is when they take her down a path that I know she would never go on. Mm -hmm. I know better than anyone. I've played her. Mm -hmm. She is me. So I will, through the years this has happened, not much, but there have been a few times that I have gone in and said, I can't. This isn't what she would do. Now if I did that day in and day out, I should be fired. Right. The fact that I do it so seldom uh, they respond and they go, you know what, you're absolutely right. Uh, so I'm, I'm protective in that way. The other way that I'm really protective is with the fans themselves. Um, I don't really understand actors who do this to fans, mm -hmm. who have no respect for them, who don't want to be bothered by them. I think it comes with what you do for a living. Mm -hmm. If I ask you to watch me every day, and if I ask you more importantly, to believe me every day, mm -hmm. then when you come up to me, if I disappoint you, if I'm rude or mean to you, where does that leave you as a viewer? Mm -hmm. Where do you go with all those hours and days and months and years that you watched they've me? had to you. Right. Yeah. So I, I feel that's an enormous commitment on my part and all of our parts, that I stop, I talk, I share. I write, I sign, whatever it is, uh, because I believe, uh, you know, that I, I owe that. It's part of doing the job. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 it really makes me crazy when actors don't do that. I think it's terrible. I've had that happen to me where an actor that I've admired or loved and I, by some, you know, happenstance I meet them and they're mean and rude. <sighs> First I want to kill myself and then I want to kill them. Mm -hmm. And it makes me angry because I don't know what to do with all that. that you know, I feel foolish.